Hey everyone, I'd like to demonstrate for you the horizontal mattress suture. Okay, it's very similar to the vertical mattress. The horizontal mattress, however, uh, the the way you place the the suture is is in two different planes rather than in one plane across the laceration. So, uh, rather than trying to explain it, let me just demonstrate it, and I'll explain as we go. But we're going to enter the skin at 90 degrees as we always do. So rotate your needle driver in a way that it allows your needle to enter at 90 degrees. Okay, and you're going to come out, rotate it down, good, just like this. Okay, and then we're going to enter the opposite subcutaneous tissue at the same depth that we exited here. That's important, otherwise your skin is going to bunch up. And then you're going to exit the skin at 90 degrees. I like to put my needle, excuse me, my my uh, pickup like this and push down on the skin, which helps the needle and exit the skin at 90 degrees, which is going to help with the E version of the, the skin edges. Okay, you pull it through like this. Now with the vertical mattress suture, you're going to be entering at that same plane, just much more superficial and much closer to the skin edge. But with the horizontal mattress, the difference is we're going to be coming back the other direction. So you're gonna load your needle backhanded like this. Again, I need to take a bigger bite. So you're going to be entering again the skin on this side, but you're going to enter the skin just a little further down on the laceration, the same distance that you exited on the first pass, okay, equidistant. 90 degrees again. We're going to make sure that our next pass is the same depth as our first pass. Okay, and then you're going to exit the skin at 90 degrees. Okay, and then we pull this through. So see how our, our <clears throat> suture passed through the skin? So we entered, exit, come down a little bit on the la laceration, entered, and exit. All the same depth, all the same distance from the, the entrance to the skin edge, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and use uh, our needle driver to do an instrument tie. And you can see that when we do this, it's going to pull the skin edges close together. It, it, it does a good job at approximating the skin edges and everting the skin edges. Okay, so the vertical mattress and the horizontal mattress can be used for a lot of the same types of situations where you've got a little bit of tension and you need to uh, have a stronger, a stronger uh, suture to, to pull the edges together. If you do something under tension like this with a, with a simple interrupted suture, oftentimes it's going to invert the skin edges even if you did everything correctly you just have too much tension then so it, it turns everything in now the one caution that I would add with a horizontal mattress like this is that if you pull it too tight it creates strangulation of the tissue off to the side okay so you can kind of appreciate that here where it kind of if you pull it too tight it's going to bunch this area up and you don't want that because that'll inhibit the healing in that area and can cut blood supply to that tissue and you can get some necrosis. So I'll demonstrate again here. So entering at 90 degrees, coming across and exiting here. Okay, and then we're gonna load our needle again, backhanded. Again, staying the same distance from the skin edge, we're going to enter the skin, coming across at that same depth that we did the first pass, and then exiting the skin at 90 degrees, the same distance as we had first uh, entered the first time. So there we go. So this, this uh, horizontal mattress like this does uh, distribute a lot of the tension along the laceration or along the incision. Uh, but again, my my concern with this and the reason that I don't use it a lot is because oftentimes it does create uh, little bunches of strangulation or tension. So if I use a, a, a horizontal mattress, most of the time I'm going to be using it as my point, uh, my point 
suture to pull together a gaping incision like this where I might, uh, or a gaping laceration where I'll pull this skin flap over, I'll hold it in place with a horizontal mattress while I suture the rest of it and then I usually pull that horizontal mattress suture out because I don't want to worry about any strangulation of the skin. But it is, a, it is a very useful suture technique and something that we definitely want to know to have in our, our tool bag and of, of skills and uh, hopefully this, this video has provided you with a pretty clear uh, walkthrough of how a, a horizontal mattress suture is done. Thanks for watching.